Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. Uh, final card reveals have been handed out here on the dev stream. Um, let's check them out. We'll go over the neutral um, epic first. The card seems interesting. Interesting. Um, it's Alyssa Henson. She's a six for seven. Apparently, she's the one that caught the witch finder. Uh, or Mrs. Hale, because that's, what's his name? So I, he's on three cards now, and so is she. Um, it's almost on par with Geralt, these two. <laughs> um, but uh, it's deploy, shuffle a special card from your graveyard to your deck. If it was a bronze, also shuffle one additional copy of that special card. Um, so you could reshuffle the orbs back in. But why would you do that when you haven't procced them yet? And you have, don't have a way to bring them both out? If that makes any sense. Because they're doomed after they're played the second time. So um, You can have some fun with Shoop. And some other cards. I guess uh, Uma got a buff from 11 to 10 so you can replay an Uma um, there's a lot of uh, special cards I mean it's any special card oh god traps um, you could play assault before it get, well it gets doomed automatically right or it doesn't get doomed till it goes I guess you could like play cards like Blood Eagle and stuff, put them back in the deck, and then replay them again with their tutor, so you could play them twice. Double Collusion. <laughs> Double Heat Wave seems pretty scary. Um, Waters thrives on thing. Double Invo. Double Dissery. I know I didn't say that right. Uh, more coups. So you could coup, what, six times now <laughs> with the with the other uh, new card? <laughs> it seems like oh, Offering of the Sea, if everybody's going wide. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, possibilities with this card. Lots of possibilities, and it's only a seven. But I mean, too, you're only, you know, you're only playing a six guy. I guess you could be, a, it could be a carryover play. I don't know. I was hoping for a legendary. I, I mean, it's a cool card. I'm, I'm sure there's some way to abuse it. Uh, let's check out the new Northern Realms cards. First one's pretty bananas. Um, Chapter of Wizards. It's a location, so. Northern Realms has two locations. This looks like the the heads on uh, the Loki show. That uh, what's his name? I forget. Oh, that's gonna bug me. But uh, thirteen provisions. So you know it's doing something crazy. Resilience. Deploy, spawn, and play Rune Word. Order. Spawn a base copy of the last played Allied Bronze Mage on this row. So, the idea is you could abuse the the next card we're going to talk about, the uh, Meditating Mage. I guess the neutral card that uh, resets the locations is pretty good with this one. The, the Zwarma or whatever. So, you play it. And refresh it so you can play two carryover plays in one turn because you're playing a mage and playing I, but I mean the idea is you want to play these uh, meditating mages um, but let's go over the other one that was just revealed first this card seems crazy let me know what uh, synergies you found with it I mean there's lots of them you can get more students and stuff it seems pretty crazy 
Um, the next one seems really bad. Like, like insanely bad. Um, the art's lovely. I love it. Uh, but it's a 4 for 6 alumni, human mage. Deploy. If both values are equal to or higher than 4, gain zeal. Order. Melee. Damage an enemy unit by 0. Order. Range. Boost an allied unit by 0. Values correspond to the highest patience achieved by your Bannard student or Bannard student or Eretuza student cards. Yeah, this one seems really bad. This looks like uh, young Obi Wan Kenobi, though. But these are them older now, right? This is the student and the the Bannard and Eretuza students at an older age now. They grew up, which is really cool. Um, but this seems super conditional. I mean, like super conditional. Like you have to play defender. It has to stick. Like, um, and if it's locked, like, where does it go to? Like, if you locked the other ones, like, what happens with this card? Is it just dead? This one seems really bad. Like, really, really bad. Alright. Uh, we'll go over the ones that I didn't get yet now. Um, first up, the, uh, the elephant in the room. The, uh, meditating mage. Uh, four for four, patience, order, gain vitality for zero turns, bonded, also gain resilience. So, these cards seem crazy. Fortunately, they're not that high a strength. And you need two of them to get the train rolling. You might even want to, with cards like this, you might even want to play like Vernon Roach and stuff. Just to start getting more of them or getting like, um, uh, what's the, what's the special card? Reinforcements, I believe, but that's only soldiers, right? No, it's base copy. So, yeah, I mean, if this becomes crazy, you're going to see Shearer like you wouldn't believe because you're just going to want to nuke these instantly. Um. Nilfgaard locks. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I love the art, too. Like, there's a little bit of floating rocks and stuff. Just spot on with this one. Uh, and then this one's really crazy. I love this one. Um, five for nine. Rafard's Revenge. Machine Siege Mage. I love it. A mage machine. Order, play a bronze unit from your hand, then draw a card. Cool down five. Crew, when you play a unit next to this card, damage a random enemy unit by two. May just contribute to this card's crew ability. So does it hit for four if you play a second mage next to it? Or is it just two every time you play a mage? I love this card. I absolutely love this card. You have no idea. It's like full test pride with instant, you know, it, it's it's hefty helge with mage synergy. Um, it's random, I mean, but it's it, it's got card draw. Like what? <laughs> this card's nuts. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I uh, might be my favorite card of the expansion so far of this set. I love it. I think it's great. And then we'll get into these last little bit of monster cards here. Um, so we got the uh, Lesser Witch, uh, five for four, spawn a base copy of self in your graveyard, bonded spawn a copy of self on this row instead. So, so they're relics. The second one, I love the art on this too. I absolutely love it. It looks like something that belongs in the ritual, the movie. Awesome movie, awesome movie. Um, so you play one, it plays a five for four. If it sticks, 
you play another one and it gets it plays for 10 and then if you so if you start playing these with the other things uh, the locations and stuff um, the mushy truffle this thing plays for 11 in one turn if you play one it seems all right it seems all right it's it's lower it doesn't play in the tall punish which is nice it gives you a relic pocket for your Gan Sien's. I like it. I think it's great. Um, it's nothing flashy. Like, it's not going to be like Dandelion Show material, but I think it'll get the job done. This card, uh, sorry on the uh, quality of this image. I couldn't find a better one. Um, Witch's Sabbath. Looks like there's some chick in a tree. They're reenacting the end of the witch if you've seen it with black philip spoilers <laughs> um summon up to the three highest power units from your opponent's graveyard to an enemy row then summon as many highest power monster units from your graveyard to the opposite row and give them doomed um so this is this is like a double Kelly abuse possibility. Uh, Lemons is going to shit all over this. Um, he's just bad like that, but um, there's a way to abuse this with Kelly. I could see it's going to be uh, it's going to be rough. You're going to play this probably with. I mean, you could play with other stuff because you're going to get the Sabbath really quick with your big boys. Um, but it seems like if you play this with um, Carapace, you're going to have a fun time. I like the card. I love the art. I absolutely love it. It looks like an album cover to one of those really, really death metal bands. It just looks like a, their logo is like a bunch of sticks. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. And then the last one, Yaga. AKA the city guard final form. <laughs> oh boy. Look at these feet. Oh my goodness. Um, so it's one strength, 13 provisions, relict, deploy, Sabbath, gain zeal. So if you have Sabbath, you can. Trigger this instantly. Order. Consume a four provision unit, then increase the provision value by one. Cool down two. Okay, so say say you're able to play. You would you would have to play like um, the Woodland Spirit deck. I forget the name of the leader ability, but. Um, you would have to play this Witch's Sabbath and Woodland Spirit in one turn, then play this next turn and eat a four provision unit. And then you could start playing those um, the cards that summon units. But it's still a cooldown too. Like This card just seems so terrible. Like I mean, yeah, you're eating stuff out of your opponent's graveyard. Skellige's going to have a fit. But, like, it's a four-provision unit. Like, is it really that necessary that you need to eat a four-provision unit on the board? And then you have to wait two more turns just to consume one for a five? And, like, what are, like, some big five-provision units? I mean, there's some big boys. You got some eights and stuff. So say you ate a four strength unit so you're at five and then you ate an eight you're at 13 and then you still have to wait two more turns and then it just might just get completely shit on by a Geralt or a, a heat wave or whatever they're like they, they might be just laughing on the way to the bank while you just eat all their stuff like go ahead i'm just gonna nuke it anyways what about sixes like sixes are kind of I, I mean i guess you can have the golems and stuff but like that's that's six turns away that's that's 
two thirds of the 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 round if you have all the cards. Like this one is just bad. <laughs> I love the art. I absolutely love the art. It looks like the lead character from uh, Blasphemous, uh, if you've ever played that game. Um, but just extremely beefy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this card, I I mean, granted too, you could eat like a Sea Jackal that's up to 20 points and you laugh all the way to the bank, but like... 13 provisions and you could just be running a heat wave or something, you know, to just kill that. I don't know, man. I just it it it's it the concept of it seems really cool, but to me this card should be like a 10 provision card. Like in it it needs two turns to max out possibly its best value. And I I don't know. It just it just seems really bad, really slow, and you might not. Even, what if they don't play any four provision units? You got to dig one out of the graveyard. You have to wait a turn with a one provision unit on the board, and wait to play the the incubus or whatever. Like <laughs> this one's really bad. Um, we'll have something out tomorrow, guys. Um, Depending on what uh, what all happens with the um, patch and how it drops and if everything goes smooth, knock on wood. But um, we'll see. I'm probably gonna try to build something with uh, Nilfgaard first. Maybe something with Skellige. We'll see. But um, thank you guys so much for everything. I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for patch day. Yeah. Mm -hmm.